hello and welcome to the very first video of the Reddit Kitty channel. My name is Jade and from here on out I will be your narrator and your artist and today we will be covering a pretty popular subreddit. Carrots and entitled people love to beg for free stuff. But you and I fully well know that they'll never get it. In case you haven't caught on, today's subreddit is r slash choosing beggars. So without further ado, let's dive right into the stories and or posts. And our first post is from Kiranico Stories. I really hope I pronounced your name right. If not, then I deeply apologize. I kind of went on Reddit. I received a platinum a while back and it came with 700 complimentary reddit coins. So I've been giving silver to post slash comments that I enjoyed. Apparently, it's not enough. Should have probably purchased more reddit coins for my money to give them gold minimum. Your comment has been worth the silver award. Kiritico stories liked your comment so much they awarded it giving you reddit silver. Here's a note that was included. Made me laugh, have a silver smiley face. As a reward, you get some special flair on your comment. And that's basically it. Very dapper. Dude, seriously, if it made you laugh, you could have gone to make gold or platinum. Silver is useless, you cheap ass. Next time, stay for at least gold or shove it up yours. No reply. Get off your high horse ass. I saw your Daenerys cosplay, and I guess you're ugly on the inside and outside. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> I'm sorry that my silver offended you. Do you get what comedy shows expecting the best seats for the cheapest price? Don't get funny comments, silver, if they made you laugh. It's useless. I want gold minimum now. Hello? And then, KS gives the cheesy booker a fake gold award because they're a mad lad in that way. And I salute them. Wow, very funny. 10 out of 10. Hope your hedgehog claws is over, I am, bitch. You suck. Imagine getting so upset over a Reddit award. I mean, just be thankful they even gave you anything to begin with. Also, the comments made about OP's appearance in her hedgehog was pretty tasteless and extremely rude. Also, it's pretty rich that you say they want the best entertainment for the cheapest price. Well, you want OP to experience the cheapest entertainment while coughing up the big bucks. That is rich. Very rich, honestly. Our next post is from Febril Pen 15 Military spouse to may have her next meal for free. When I became military spouse, I thought I would get free stuff. What the fuck? I'm a military spouse. It should be free next time. Think of military spouse smiley face. Military spouses deserve drinks for free. Fuck this place. Oh my god, fuck this place. We serve our asses off way more than anyone. <sighs> Hold on, Karen. The only thing that you serve is a migrate to retail employees everywhere. Your spouse is the one who is on the battlefield giving their lives away so that 
Everyone in America can live normal lives. You haven't done shit. And if this is your mentality, and if you really think that you can get away by marrying someone in the military and getting free stuff, or at least in the hopes of getting free stuff, then I question your values, your morals, and your marriage, cause that poor military spouse of yours deserves way better. Cause, you know, they don't deserve to be stuck with a Karen. Our next post is from Relentlessly Crooked. They've had to explain this to Cheesy Beggar so many times, they have a list. Ten reasons your dog's haircut costs more than yours! Number ten, your hairdresser doesn't wash and clean your rear end. Number nine, you don't go for eight weeks without washing or brushing your hair. Number eight, your hairdresser doesn't have to give you a sanitary trim. Number seven, your hairdresser doesn't have to clean your ears. Number six, your hairdresser doesn't have to clean boogies from your eyes. Number five, you sit still for your hairdresser. Number four, your haircut doesn't include a manicure and a pedicure. Number three, your hairdresser only washes and cuts the hair on your head. Number two, you don't bite or scratch your hairdresser. At least I hope not. And the number one reason your dog's haircut costs more than yours, the number one reason is the likelihood of you pooping or peeing while your hair is being cut is extremely slim. Imagine a bombard of, of a complaint of Karen's just rushing in begging for free haircuts for their hellhound chihuahuas only to be rejected and I guess those poor hairdressers got a lot of death rights and slurs and curses thrown at them and I feel sorry for them. Our next post is from Tell Me If You Like. It always gets worse at Christmas. Me. I am firm on price. Single moms on Facebook. You've ruined my children's Christmas! Yeah, that always seems to be the case around Christmas time or birthdays with parents. They've always just gone around bothering sellers by screaming, You've ruined my baby's Christmas! You... You stole my baby's gift! Fuck you for ruining my baby's birthday! You should be selling this at such a high price! It's for my baby! I'm surprised Karen didn't use the My Kid Has Cancer excuse. Cause that excuse is honestly really awful and it's pretty demeaning to people who actually have cancer. Uh, sorry if I went a little off topic, but that just popped up in my head and I just wanted to get it off my chest. Our next post is from The Duff. A friend of my ex has been using my Netflix details without my knowledge for years. Calls me cheap. Hey, have you paid your Netflix account yet? <laughs> Who is this? I don't have your number saved. It's blank. Can you please pay for it tonight? I haven't spoken to you in years. How and why do you have my Netflix details? X gave it to me when you two were dating. You've got to be fucking kidding. I'll be changing my password right away. Why are you big tip? What difference will it make? I have it set to log straight in away. <laughs> Just pay it! I'm trying to watch something. You are not using my account anymore. I can't believe the cheek of it. 
Lose my number, please. Whatever, you can't even afford the ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the irony of someone saying I can't afford to pay for something that they've been leeching off for over two years. Not that it's any of your business, but I've changed banks and I tried claiming for my old closed one. What do you mean? It's not letting me log in now. Just pay it. I have, but you'll be able to use it without the new password. What difference does it make? If you're paying for it anyway, I have nothing to do tonight. Howard really want to watch Netflix. <laughs> then pay for your fucking own. Done with this. Now blocked. Dex was too good for you, sheep cunt. <laughs> oh my god, all I have to say is, why did the ex give away the Netflix details? And if she gave it to a choosing beggar, or he, you don't discriminate around here, who knows who else they might have given it to? Jesus Rice Krispies, that is a scary thought in all honesty. Our final post is from Dakota Raptors. I get a lot of DMs daily from teen TikTok stars asking for free stuff for my business. And here's an example. Hi, I'm a teen influencer, 47.2k TikTok followers, and I get 100k views per video. Most of my audience is 14 to 17 years old. I would love your jewelry t-shirts. I want to collab with you by advertising your products to help you grow your business. If you send me three of the most expensive items in your store, I'll make a TikTok video about them. I hope to hear back from you, heart heart. Hi there, the best way you can support our small business is by purchasing from it. I clicked on your TikTok, and it seems like you get 200 views per video, and your followers are 12. Unless your 1,000 TikTok followers with no forms of currency can help me pay off my student loans, please stop asking small businesses for free stuff. Thanks. Why do you have to lie about the amount of followers you have? I mean... If you have the money to pay for the items, just cough up the cash. That's all you gotta do. And so this concludes our very first video. And I really hope you enjoyed watching and or listening to it. I really hope you do like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And I'll happily make more for you, no matter what. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye for now, and stay safe out there.